My name is Dr. Stephen Emery. I'm the director of the Center for Innovative Fetal Intervention at UBMC. A chorangioma is essentially, it's a benign tumor of the placenta. So it's, it's made of cells that belong in the placenta. They're just very disorganized. So blood goes into it and the tumor grows. As the tumor grows, the harder it becomes for the fetus to supply it. It's parasitic in a malignant fashion. And at some point, the fetus will fail. What if you can change that? What if you can get in there and prevent that from happening? That, that's powerful medicine. People have tried a bunch of different things for this. One, one option in the early days was to open the abdomen, open the uterus, and take the tumor out. But you can imagine complications associated with that. We tried other tools that we have in our toolbox, which aren't that many. And a lot of them have to deal with thermal energy, so bipolar cautery, radio frequency ablation, laser energy. But any time you have thermal energy, you have collateral damage. And that's what was unique about our approach, is it wasn't thermal. And the way we did that was um, by taking the most frequent procedure that we do, and the safest procedure that we do, which is intrauterine transfusion. In this case, what we did was we passed the needle into the, the feeding vessel of this tumor, and we passed coils in. Then as soon as the coils come out of the end of the needle, the blood flow to the tumor ceases. And the thing that was beautiful about this approach is that nothing else was affected. There was no collateral damage. You can see on the pathology slides, dead tumor, normal placenta. It's the only field in medicine that has the potential for a mortality rate of greater than 100%, right? You could lose both. When we're offering something as minimally invasive as a needle under local anesthesia, for the mom, there's very little risk to her and potential huge benefit for the baby. 